How's it going, guys? It's me, the Domo Talk. We're here today to talk about the next episode of Love Live Sunshine, episode four. Now, interesting enough, I could summarize this and this episode for one, two words, and they're not technically two words. We know what I mean, but basically, play it all up. Hanayo and Rin. Done. Now, interestingly enough, this is following similarly paces to the original series, but I don't care anymore. It's fine, you know, it's fine. Really, after four episodes of Lala Sunshine, I've already come to the realization that I really do like this series, and I really do enjoy Awkwars and this new idol group that's not Muse, and you know, like, at this point, I'm really thinking like, oh, Muse was a whole other thing in the past, now we have Awkwars and whatnot, so, yeah, I'm really enjoying this series, and as, it, as I don't know why, it's similar pacing to the original series, but, you know, we have two new members in, um, in Awkwars, and, like, uh, you know, I was like, okay, kind of expected that, but anyways, let's talk about how these girls joined Awkwars and all the other sh shiznits that happened in this, um, episode, for one. So... One of the things that I was looking at in this episode was character motiva motivation, for one. Because, you know, back in the original series, I was thinking, like, okay, you know, at first, Yuz is created to save the school. So that was their motivation for being idols. And this one, they wanted to, these girls just wanted to do it for the fun of it and want, they wanted to shine on stage. And then after these two were, you know, being focused on this episode so much, I was like, okay, I wanted to see where their motivation is towards them joining Awkward somehow. And so, of course, Ruby has been a fan of Muse and school idols for since as a child, right? So that was understandable. But then somehow, suddenly, her sister, Dia, hates the shit out of them, even though she used to practice so songs with her and pretend to be Muse as a kid. And, you know, they just sort of grew apart. And, of course, causing Ruby to stray away from her liking of um, school idols and not joining the club and just, you know, hiding her love for school idols. Hanamaru, on the other hand, noted, became really good friends with, um, with Ruby. She was a, she's a bookworm, she really likes reading books and likes to spend her time in the library. And then, she's really a lot like Rin, and I like that sort of, um, sort of connection to the original series, but I'll talk about that later. So yeah, Hanamaru was essentially, yeah, she is Rin, basically. She's a supporting a uh, step stool for Ruby to join Awkward and become a school idol, like in the original series where Rin sort of supported Hanayo, who wanted to become a school idol as well. So it's similarities, of course, but you know, in two different sort of worlds and other sort of different characters and whatnot. Of course, you know, Ruby has always enjoyed being a school idol, but she's not like Hanayo, who is shy and, she, she, and thought that she couldn't do it. She just sort of hated, wanted to hide the fact of being a, liking school idols because of her sister, Hanamaru. Noticing that she likes school idols so much pushed her and tried to make her chase her own dream Which she did in the end and which is really cool now Hanamaru in fact is interesting enough because she She just wanted to push Ruby into doing what she wanted to do like actually, you know care for herself because she sort of was Caring about others and not about her what she wanted to do and stuff like that so Hanamaru just pushed her to be on school idol and then she that was it and I was thinking was like oh wow is she actually not gonna join Awkward's interestingly enough no that wasn't the case because for one Ruby comes up and talks to Hanamaru about how she's been having doubts upon herself and you know this is a lot like Rin because she's been like looking at this school idol book about Rin and how Rin at first she thought she couldn't do she couldn't become a school idol, but then that doesn't matter. She just became it anyways because she wanted to do it. In this case, Hanamaru thought that she couldn't do it because she was she wasn't the most like stamina, physical, strongly one, and you know her world relied on books and whatnot. And yeah, you know, in fact, like you know, Ruby told her herself like, oh, you know, when you were practicing once on the roof, you looked really happy, and you know, I thought you wanted to become a school idol with me as well. So we see her motivation there, and like you know, that's one of the things I really wanted to see with this series and how much of the influence Muse has with this new series because Muse plays so much of a huge role in Sunshine that, you know, without the original series, Sunshine wouldn't exist, Awkward wouldn't exist because everyone has to have this inspiration from Muse and sort of want to be like Muse, and except it's not. But I still find that pretty cool how they have so much of a connection between the first series and this new one because, you know, Hanamaru is like Rin and she didn't want to be, she didn't think she could become a school idol, but she just does it anyways. Ruby likes school idols, but then she's too shy about it, Hanayo. And then you have all the rest of the other people cast, like, um, 
Dia, who really likes Ellie for being a student council president and a school idol at the same time, so connection-wise there. Um, everyone else is, you know, there's already school else. So, yeah, I really found that cool. And now we have five members in Aquas. We don't have a new song, but, you know, they're building up to the nine. So, the other big question that I really have in the series is the connection between the third years. Because Mari, it's a joke, um, somehow visits um, Kanan, I think that's her name, and Dia in this whole series and of course I'm assuming that um, she has some connection or she's friends with them to an extent because of course they're in the same year the third years and you know they're talking about like this whole thing this whole idol thing right and then like so when Mari talks to Canon she's like oh you know I know you'll become a school idol after you're done with your work and you come back to school right and I was like wait what the hell does she know her and then with um, Dia she's like oh you know Ruby and her dreams to become a school idol has come true and whatnot. So, I don't know if it's me or not, but there's something going on with those third years, I swear. So, I'm thinking that, for one, uh, considering that Dia likes school idols, she influenced Mari and Canon as as uh, students in the same grade and like potential friends to become like a school idol group when they become older, but they didn't really fall through with it. So, that could possibly be it. Okay, it's not cut there because something happened, but uh, yes. So, I'm assuming that those three third years have some sort of like connection back in the past when they were young because Dia likes school idols and, you know, for some reason Mari is talking to Canada about becoming a school idol when she goes back to school. That my thinking here is that they were friends, of course they're in the same year, so they were friends and then they dreamed of becoming school idols when they were older, but now in their third year they sort of separated went their own ways and they gave up on the whole squad thing until Awkward and uh, Chica and them showed up, right? So that's my thinking for that. We'll technically see towards the end considering we'll know the truth about why Dia really hated school aisles all of a sudden, you know. But yeah, that's about it for Awkward and episode 4 for Sunshine. Next episode, Johan, the Chunibo, and we'll see how that goes. So they'll have six members. And I'm assuming they'll have their new song supposedly ready with the six members. But yeah, so anyway guys, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you like Aquars and you know, I don't know why, but these, these characters remind me so much of like the old cast. Actually, not really. Because even though Riko is the songwriter, she's not like Maki. Honoka and Chika are the leaders, of course. They have some similarities, but you know, Hanamaru and Ruby are Hanayo and uh, Rin. They basically are, to an extent. Yeah, so anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video on the Don't Talk With Anime channel. Subscribe, because next week, episode 5 will come out, and we'll see if they have a new song. We'll see Johan join, most likely, and the good stuff. So anyways, guys, I'll see you guys on the next video on the Don't Talk With Anime channel. So take care, guys, and matane, aqua, sunshine. That's the catchphrase, apparently, as the show um, told us. So, aqua, sunshine.